Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about discover why your life is stuck and gain the freedom to move on. Because today, February 1st, is Nat National Freedom Day. It's the anniversary of the date that Abraham Lincoln signed the resolution of the 13th Amendment, which freed the slaves. So to my friends who have slavery... To my friends who have slavery in their family history, I'm sure this is a powerful and important day for you. But it's important for all of us. Freedom is important for every single one of us. National Freedom Day encourages us to celebrate the freedoms that we have in our country. And how best to take advantage of those freedoms than by letting go of the things that are holding us back from being all that we can be, right? Do you feel like your life is in a rut? Is, why is it that our lives rarely change, even when we're miserable? The, there's forces inside our minds that conspire to keep us stuck. It's true, they're there, and they're actually spectacular effective at accomplishing this. You know, in fact, they're so good, we don't even realize it's happening most of the time. So I have a few reasons that might well be the cause of your rut and why you're having a hard time moving forward. So the first one is you lack the knowledge necessary to make a change. So you might know that you need to be more confident, but you also might lack the knowledge of how to develop more confidence. <clears throat> Excuse me. So maybe you started your home business, but you don't know how to get started. Or maybe you've been in business for a while, but you don't know what to do next to move forward. And I mean, not all skills are available at our fingertips, right? We weren't born, we weren't born knowing everything. We didn't come out of the womb like expert geniuses, right? You might need to do a little bit of studying before change is possible. The second one, you don't specifically know what you want. So if you think you might like to be a fireman, but you're also thinking maybe an accountant sounds interesting, I guess you're stuck because there's a big difference between those two, right? So maybe you started your own home business, but you're not sure which direction to go because you never really sat down and figured out what it is you want out of your business. At some point, it's necessary to make a clear decision and set a goal. I mean, you can't choose a vacation destination. If you, if you can't choose a vacation destination, then I guess you're not going anywhere. You're stuck at home, right? So it's really important to spend some time and get really clear on that decision, whatever it is. And, you, you know, it doesn't even have to be that you spend a lot of time. The point is making the decision, really. But if you're sure, if you're struggling, you know, then, then spend some time and get clear. Because what is it you want out of life? Or what is it you want out of your business or out of your career or even out of your vacation? right? The third one, you lack the willpower or you fail to use it effectively. Willpower is limited, but it's great. It's really great for creating new habits and behavioral patterns. So the willpower is really the best at getting you started, right? And starting to create that habit and then the habit takes over. So sticking with the task after the urge to quit surfaces, that's when you can develop your willpower. You know, continue for another five minutes. Just tell yourself, no, I'm not going to quit yet that we want to develop that willpower, right? We want to get stronger. That's a muscle we want to strengthen. So increase the amount for e of time each week until you can work through the urge to give up. So, hey, five minutes. Nope, I'm going to keep going for five more minutes. Oh, no, nope, I'm going to keep going for 10 minutes, whatever it is. But use your willpower to develop small habits that can grow into useful routines. Number four, you can't deal with being uncomfortable. Anxiety, nervousness, and fear are great for preventing you from jumping off of a 10-story building, right? But they're worth they're worse than worthless when it comes to keeping you stuck in your life. You know, some level of discomfort always accompanies change. Always. But your your emotions are misleading you because you're not in any real danger. So use your logic to talk yourself through it. You know, if, if you have been asked to speak in front of a room and you're terrified, this is where you can tell yourself, you can use logic and tell yourself nothing bad is going to happen from giving a speech. In fact, there's many benefits and then list those benefits, right? Because even ask yourself maybe what's the worst thing that could happen and you'll find out it's not as bad as you think. Um, so use that logical part of your brain to override your primitive instincts because the fear is the primitive instinct and your brain is smarter than that, right? So there's many techniques to lower your levels of discomfort to more manageable levels. You know, you can use meditation, you can use prayer, counseling. Those are a few that can be beneficial. 
Um, start small and push through that slight discomfort. Your ability to handle the bigger and scarier situations grow with experience. It's all about doing it, it's just getting started. And then the more experience you get, the better you get at it and the stronger you are and the better able you'll push through, right? So choose one thing that scares you and do this every day for six months to a year, whatever. You're going to be scared at first, maybe scared to death, right? But the more you push yourself and the more you do it, you're going to be amazed at your progress. And before you know it, you're going to be considered a master at it. Another benefit of stepping out of your comfort zone, taking on a challenge and mastering it is it'll do wonders for your self-confidence and your self-esteem. Just follow the advice of Nike. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. You got to tell yourself, just do it. So number five, you give up too quickly. Change can take time. And you know what? Sometimes that's the hardest part, especially for me. You know, it's that time. It's like, uh, I want it now. <laughs> I think we all do, right? I know I do. So 80% of the change that you ultimately see isn't going to reveal itself until you're at least 80% of the work is, is completed. So it's like you're building that foundation first and, and we're, or you're planting a seed and, and it's not going to come through the ground until 80% of it is done under the ground and then it sprouts and then you see the benefit of your efforts, right? I mean, it's how it is with everything. It's how when you plant things, when you do, it's just, that's just it. Your early efforts are going to show really little, very small results. You're not going to see much at all, but things are happening. They're happening behind the scenes and you just really have to persevere in order to see a meaningful change in your life. So you got to be strong. You got to say, I know it's coming. You got to have, you got to be a believer, right? Be a believer. Know it's coming. Keep going and, and it will happen. So learn to be a finisher. Start completing all the little tasks in your life. You know, if you decide to walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes, keep going until you're done. Don't let yourself off the hook until you are 100% done, until that 20 minutes is done, right? That's really important. So, you know, freedom, the freedom that's afforded to us in our country is important. It's, it's so important. I mean, that's why we celebrate National Freedom Day. That's why today is such a big day. And how we live our life is up to us. You know, it's not that way in every country. You know, in, in other countries, they don't have the right to be what they want, how they want, when they want. We have those rights. We have that right to be all we can be. So we need to be grateful for that. We need to be grateful for what it is we have here. And part of that gratefulness is living our best life because we can. We have so many self-imposed limitations that just letting go of those limitations would allow us to have the freedom to move on and create the life that pleases us. And, you know, making a change can be a challenge, any change. Understanding the roadblocks to change, the roadblocks that you're coming in across to change can enhance your ability to bring about meaningful changes in your life. You know, have an objective and develop habits that support that objective. Learn to lower and deal with uncomfortable emotions. You have everything that you need, everything with is that, that's within you already in here that's necessary to create that spectacular life. So go for it. Just seriously, just go for it. Just do it, like Nike says. So you have it. You have it in you. You have everything in you to create whatever life you want. And we live in a country where you can do that. And so appreciate that and take advantage of it. You know, go for it. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. What kinds of things help you work through the things that are holding you back? What kinds of things do you struggle with? We'd love to hear from you. Please share below. And, um, Thank you for being here and thanks for watching my video and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.